Hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel Perfumes with Pat. So today I have um, a few, well more than a few perfumes that I just purchased. Um, some of them I wore um, the week that just passed and some of them I didn't get the chance to wear um, as yet. So I will give you like my first impressions on the ones that I'm um, just opening today and then I'll give you um, what I thought about the ones that I actually wore, okay? Um, we're gonna jump right in it. And the first one that I'm gonna give you a review on is Tom Ford, um, Sol Le Blanc. Um, I did wear this one, um, and it was it was nice. This is the Edit Toilet version. Um, let me spray it in. It was real pretty, it was light. It was nice. I don't know if it lasted all day, but it was really pretty. Um, let me tell you some of the notes that are actually in it. Okay, so it has spicy notes of cardamom, pink pepper, and a hint of pistachio and bergamot. Um, it has some coconuts, it has white florals, it's sweet, it's balsamic. Um, tuberose and yellow yellow florals also um, it was nice um, I don't know if it, it I would call it like my favorite but it's actually pretty I think I'm gonna try the um, the perfume and see if that makes a difference but it was nice it lasted a few hours maybe five hours and that was it okay um, jump right in it and Beyonce heat I didn't try this one um it's a cute little bottle i think i paid about 20 something you could tell that someone's been wearing it though i think my daughter has gotten to it um okay you know, I'm gonna wear it and then I'll tell you how it is. Initially, it's, my first impression is that it's it's nice. It's a nice little scent. Doesn't upset my stomach, so it's a nice, it's a nice scent. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's Beyonce heat, okay? And when I wear it for the week, I'll let you know how it was. Moving right along, let's throw that one down there. Um, Coco. So this is Coco by Chanel. I did wear this one. And I don't know if, if I cared for Coco. I'm still trying to debate if I actually liked it. It was, not to say old lady-ish, but it was old lady-ish type of, I don't know. It was just weird for me. Yeah. It's just really odd. It's like like I'm sitting at home with my grandma and the mothballs are in the drawer. It's just weird. It did dry down real powdery and nice. I'm gonna tell you the notes that are in it, okay? So the top notes he has, coriander, mandarin, orange, peach, jasmine, and Bulgarian rose. Middle notes, mimosa cloves, orange blossom, and rose. And then it has sandalwood, tonka bean, um, civet and vanilla and a few more it has amber and a poppinox but I don't know it's just not my favorite um, Chanel it just it like I said it's old lady ish you know it's so it's not my but it's 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 okay I'm not gonna say it's pretty it's not it's not really pretty it kind of upset my stomach a little bit and just one little spray it just yeah it wasn't my favorite definitely not um, moving right along. So I didn't try this one. This one is Dulce and Gabbana, the one. Um, I didn't try this one at all. Sorry. I think that's this one has to sit and I could really tell um, if I like it or not. The initial, yeah, I'll let this one sit for a while to see if I like it. It's, it's just okay. 
Okay, I'll let this one stay right here. Okay, we're gonna do, I'll leave this one for last. We're gonna do Victor and Ralph Liquid Diamonds. Now, I did not wear this, right? I literally, when I got it, I sprayed it on myself. And it was so, ooh, it was so pungent. I just couldn't, I don't know, my stomach couldn't tolerate it for whatever reason. And I really wanted to love it. But I just, oh, I just, sorry, I just couldn't. I don't know what, I don't know what's, I know there's peony in there. I did look up the notes because I wanted to figure out like what is in this thing that I do not like so much, you know? I did not wear it, but I did spray it on my, my hand the first time I got it. But yeah, oh, mm -mm. this was, this is, yeah. No, I don't like this at all. Like, I don't, I don't think I could even stomach it to actually wear it. It's like, and I'm so happy that I got it like half off because I probably would have been so irritated. <laughs> I paid $90 for it and that's still a lot, but I'm happy it wasn't more than that, you know? Yeah, no, no, mm-mm. I'm not gonna talk anymore about that. And then I'm gonna do Club New Wheat. Um, and this one is by, I think this is by R, R. Moth. And I I did wear this one and I absolutely loved it. Um, I think they were saying that it's like a dupe for Coco Chanel Mademoiselle and that's why I bought it. I paid like $22 for this, which is ridiculously good, you know? And I, I loved it. it, it lasted all day. I mean, when you initially, get a whiff of it, you do smell a little something, but it's definitely not like Coco Chanel, but it's it has its own beauty. It's beautiful. It's, for the price, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful scent. It's a good gift to give to someone. So I did get one for my mom. You know, my friend got one. So yes, it's like, it's, it's a nice perfume and it lasted a good deal. Let me tell you, let me see if I wrote down the notes. I can tell you what's in it. Okay, so it has bergamot, grapefruit, peach, orange. Um, it has ger geranium, jasmine, um, lychee, and rose. And it has some musk, some, some patchouli, vanilla, and vetiver, um, rose, citrus, um, fresh spice. You know, so it's, it's nice. I, I like it. It's really nice. I'm going to get some more wear out on, you know, on it and then let you know exactly how I but I, I I loved it I wore it one day I really liked it very much you know all right moving right along this is Nobile or Noble 1942 and this is La Donza Del um La Belle Ooh. I bought this for the packaging I love the bottle absolutely loved it I, I didn't wear it as yet so this is like my first impression on this one. Ooh. Okay, on paper is beautiful. It has, there's a note in it that's like jumping out. I don't know what that note is, but it's like, it's trying to fight to win to be number one. Okay, I'm gonna wear this and, and give you a, a better and full review on this one. That's 1942, um, La Donza. Okay. All right. Um, this is Clive Christian X. Now I did wear this one and oh my God. I love this thing. Like, it's so beautiful. I love this. It's, I think this is one of my favorite scents, but when I initially put it on, I was trying to figure out what this smells like. And I could not figure it out for the life of me, what it smelled like. And then I wore it to work and a friend of mine said, oh, you smell like you have on um, Gucci Rush. 
And I was like, that's what it is. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, it smells exactly like Gucci Rush. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love this. I like, I love it. I love it so much. But literally, it smells exactly like Gucci Rush. I used to wear Gucci Rush when I was like 20 years old and exactly like Gucci Rush. So if you don't wanna spend the money for that, run out, run out and get Gucci Rush. It comes in a, like a little red square thing, cute little plastic bottle. It's really cute, you know? And it's the same juice, so. But I, this thing lasted all day, all night. It was absolutely, it's beautiful, but it's Gucci Rush, okay? All right, and last but definitely not least, um, this is Spirit of Kings Array. And I did wear this one. I love this one. Oh my God. Look how beautiful this bottle is. Do you see it? The juice inside is so, um, I dropped my notes. It's so amazing. Oh my goodness. Like, it's so light and, oh. Oh my Lord, it's so beautiful. Okay, so it has the top notes, lemon, bergamot, rose, middle notes, floral notes, green notes, cedar, Irish, passion fruit, base notes, patchouli, musk, vanilla, amber, vetiver. It's so woody, powdery, citrusy. I don't know, it's so, it's blended beautiful. It's so wonderful. So like when you initially smell it, it smells kind of like an oil and then it dies down into this beautiful, light, woody smell. It's, listen, amazing. Like I'm not gonna spray this juice out. It's so beautiful. So I think, you know, this haul, I think I did good, you know, besides liquid diamonds and Chanel cocoa, everything else I think was okay. And I'm excited to like do the full, review of each of them okay um thank you so much for coming by um don't forget to like you can dislike um don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget that um you could click the link in the bio um for fragrancenet.com and buy some of these beautiful fragrances um from that link okay um thank you so much for tuning in have a blessed day um bye bye beautiful people